y'all friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and today we are going to turn our heart from yesterday, which was we used the robin's egg, into a granny square. So let's get started on that. You can see I made several just to give options and show what it can, what you can really do with this. You can this one, I love this one. It's just pink cotton and white cotton. It's just lovely. And this one is all swirly. So pretty. And this is one of my favorite greens, so I thought that was a fun one to try. So we are going to make the robin's egg blue into a granny square. Right, and I am just going to use Karen Simply Soft White to do the edging. And we're going to go back in with our four millimeter hook to where we ended. We're going to start right here right here chain three one two and three and I like to take my marker and mark off the two top loops of that third chain so when I make it all the way back around again it's really easy to find just in case it got a little bit too tight along the way all right so the next two are double crochets but the fun part here is that they're all front posts the first one was not, of course, because it was just a chain, but these are all going to be front post, front post double crochet right here, just like that. So instead of going into the top stitch, right here, you're going to go under the post and then back through that post and double crochet. Once and twice. And the next is a front post half double crochet. So all of these are going to be front posts. Remember that part. And there's a half double crochet. Three front post single crochets. So one, two, and three. Front post half double crochet. and then two that are front post double crochets. Chain two, and the next four are front post double crochets. One, two, four, and the next two are half double crochets under the front post, one, two, five singles, so one, two, three, four, Two half doubles. Remember, all of these are front post. So there's one half double and two half doubles. The next two are doubles. So there's a half, there's one double crochet and two double crochet front post. And now the next five are front post triple crochet. So that's two yarn overs under the post pull through, pull through, and pull through. Do that for the next five. So I need four more. And five. Chain two. The next five are front post triple crochets again. So there's our five. The next three are double. So front post double crochets. And three. 
and then a half double with the front post. And this next, the next two, which is at the point right here, the next two are single crochets with the front post. So the front post single crochet times two. There we go. Now we're going to work up the side of the heart. So we're basically going to go backwards from what we just did. So it's a half double crochet around this post. Three doubles. One, two, and three. And the next five are triples. Two yarn overs and a front post triple crochet. And five. Chain two. And the next five are front post triple crochet again. The next two are double crochets with the front post. So two doubles. Then two half doubles. And five singles. One, two, two half doubles. Always working around those posts, remember? Four doubles. And four. Chain two. The next two are double. Always around the front posts. And next is a one half double crochet with the front post. The next three are single crochet. A half double. And the last three are double crochets. Front post double crochet. One, two, and this last one, I like to go through here since it was a slip stitch and go right through exactly where my white yarn was attached and do my double crochet through there. So we're getting close. One more round. One more round and it'll be a little bit more square. Our last round is round eight. We marked our stitch here so it's easy to find. We are going to slip stitch into our marked stitch, chain two, and we can take our stitch marker out. So over the next nine, before we get to the corner, they each get a half double crochet. So I'm going to count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you want to work right in here. And these are normal stitches right in the top, half double crochet. One, two, eight, and nine. Now we're at our corner. Do two double crochet in our chain spins right here. Chain two and two double crochets. All right, now catch this little stitch right here. Make sure he doesn't go missing. Double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four, and ten half double crochets. One, nine, and ten. Four, 
three double crochet. One, two, and three. And the last three to get to the corner are triple crochet. Now we're at our next corner. So in this chain space we want to do two triple crochet. One, two, chain two, and two more triple crochet. Make sure we catch this little stitch and we're going to work along the bottom. We're almost done. So awesome. Two triple crochet. One and two. Two double crochet. One and two. The next twelve are half doubles. So half double crochet over the next twelve. One, two, and we have four stitches left. First two are double crochet. One, two. And the last two before the corner are our triple crochet. One and two. And this corner is the same as that corner. Two triple crochet in the chain space there in our corner chain two and two more triple crochet in that same corner. Now we'll work up this side, basically the opposite of what we did here. So there's half of side one. So we're going to do the opposite of side two. So that's three triple crochets. Make sure we catch this little stitch that he's not covered by the corner. Crochet. Ten half double crochet. And ten. And have four stitches left. And all four of those are double crochets. to the corner. One, two, three, and four to the corner. And our last corner is the same as this corner. Two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet. And then all the rest of these are half doubles. Make sure we catch this little stitch right here that he's not covered up. All half doubles. Should be ten. Nine. And ten. What we have to do is finish him off. Snip. I'm gonna pull through. So go through two loops of that chain two on the second chain, pull through, go back to our last half double crochet, go in his back loop only and pull through and now it looks like a stitch. You can see right here it's a stitch instead of a little knot because I love that kind of an edging and I'm working on a granny. So you just have to weave in your ends best way to take care of these two is I just like to tie these in a knot nice and tight so the join does not show. There we go. And if you wanted to you could always adjust this edging by using a bigger 
we're jumping up to maybe a four and a half if you want it to be a little bit want it to be a little bit bigger but I found this to be just about perfect I'm very very happy with my heart so there you go a heart granny square with front posts all the way around so you get a real heart look without all of the stitches showing so thanks for stopping by thank you for supporting my small business Please subscribe to Thimblehooks, tell all your friends about me, stop back soon, and see what I've got coming up next. Thanks. Bye.